morning! Malia, you're awake? I'm getting changed right now, but when I'm ready, I'll go pick you up with my car. I'm planning to be there around 9. Are you almost ready? Millie? It's already 8! Are you getting ready? Please tell me you're awake. I already told my parents that we're coming and they're expecting us at 11. My parents' house is a two-hour drive away, so you've got to wake up and get ready soon or we won't make it in time. Can you please reply to my messages if you're awake? We're going to be late if you don't wake up soon. Millie, are you okay? I'm really worried. Did something happen? Uh, I'm awake. Oh, thank God! I was trying to think that something had happened to you. You're up! Are you almost ready? I guess that's why you couldn't answer my messages. I'll be picking you up at 9, so if you can get ready by then, that'll be great. Oh, and please don't go back to bed. Hey, I'm waiting outside. I've been ringing the doorbell, but there's no answer. You're awake, aren't you? Can you open the door? Millie, you okay? Why can't you come to the door? Hey, Millie! You haven't collapsed or anything, have you? Please just tell me you're okay. Shut up! Can't you stop messaging me for one second? Why are you so pissed off? I'm the one that should be angry. What do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? Did you forget what today is? Have you forgotten that we have plans today? Really important ones? We're supposed to go see my parents. So what? Why should I care? My notifications won't shut up until you stop messaging me. Can you give me some peace? I want to sleep. What? Are you being serious? You don't care about meeting my parents? I'm waiting outside your apartment and the car is ready to go. Can you just open up? Let me inside at least. I can help you get ready. No, I don't want to. I'm sleeping and I don't want to wake up yet, so leave me alone. I'm not letting you in either. I'll call you when I wake up, so can you stop with the messages? The pings are driving me crazy. What do you want from me? All I want is to relax and spend my precious Sunday sleeping in, but you're ruining it! Why do you have to send so many messages? I told you we're supposed to go see my parents today. We decided this weeks ago. Ugh, and? That's supposed to mean something to me? I'll call you later when I feel like it. Right now, I'm sleepy, and I don't want to think or do anything. I just want to sleep. You can't be serious. You're going to cancel meeting my parents on the day at last minute because you're sleepy? We're supposed to go see your parents this evening, too. Do you mean that you want to cancel both plans? Oh. My. God. Shut. Up. I've had enough of your messages. I want to sleep. Can you leave me alone? I said stop. I've had enough. I'm going to turn off my phone, so just wait until I wake up. I'll call you when I do. You're kidding, right? You're turning off your phone? Seriously, you're gonna shut me out? We're supposed to announce our engagement today. I thought it was an important day for both of us. Fine, forget about it. Good morning. I'm sorry about earlier. I saw all your messages. You're not still mad, are you? Forget about it. I guess you are still mad. Yeah, I'm still mad. Did you read our conversation when you woke up? What you said to me? I just read everything. I'm really sorry, Sean. I only just realized that we were supposed to go to your parents' house. I was really confused earlier because I was so tired. I didn't think that was today. I'm sorry. The truth is, I don't feel well and I was just trying to sleep it off. You felt ill? Why didn't you just say so earlier? What happened? I have really bad fatigue. My entire body feels really heavy. My head hurts too, like I've got a migraine or something. Plus, I think I've got a fever. I was really out of it this morning, like I was half asleep or something. Everything just felt really bad, and my instinct was to sleep through it. I didn't understand what was going on, and I think I said some horrible stuff. I don't remember typing it at all. But I saw what I sent you, and I swear I didn't mean any of it. I wasn't myself. Sorry. Really sorry. Do you think we can make it if we go to your parents' place now? No, it's too late. Oh, that's a shame. 
But we're still going to see my parents and tell them, right? We told them that we'd visit in the evening, so we still have plenty of time to get ready and see them. And they live really close by, so there's no rush either. We ended up having to cancel last minute on my parents. You realize that, don't you? But you still want to tell your parents about our engagement? How was that fair? Hey, I wanted to meet your parents and let them know in person. It's not like I did it on purpose. But if we're not going to make it in time to see them, then we might as well see my parents. We still have a few hours, so I thought that there was no problem. Forget it. You don't have to meet my parents, so we don't have to tell your parents about our engagement. What? What are you talking about? I already called your parents and let them know that we won't be going. They're not expecting us anymore. What? You cancelled? Why would you do that? You're horrible! My parents were looking forward to seeing us! You haven't seen them in ages! They must be really disappointed. Haven't you got any messages from them? If you have, you better read them before you say anything else. It's not me that they're disappointed in. What do you mean? I think I got a few calls from them both, but... I saw that you had sent me a lot of messages too, so I decided to reply to you first. You should be happy that I prioritized you over my parents. I thought I should apologize properly for what I said and everything. Yeah, sure, that makes me so happy. You should call your parents, find out why they were trying so hard to get a hold of you, and see what they have to say. I'm sick of talking to you. Oh, don't say that. You can't be angry about me not meeting your parents forever. Give me a break. That's not all I'm angry about. If it was just that, I might have already forgiven you. How about you tell the truth? The truth? What are you talking about? I haven't lied to you. And tell me why you couldn't wake up on time this morning. Why you reacted like you did when I told you I was waiting outside. You should have known that we had important plans today. We've been talking about it for weeks. So, why did you cancel on me? What were you doing last night? I'm sorry, I guess you already figured it out. The truth is, I went out for a few drinks with some friends last night. They invited me out right after work and I thought I would just have one drink and come straight home. But I ended up drinking a bit too much. This morning I had a massive hangover, like the worst. I was really unwell. I wasn't lying about the fatigue and migraine and stuff. I already had an alarm set on my phone, but I couldn't wake up straight away. But I'm okay now. I drank a lot of water and ate breakfast, took some paracetamol, so I'm feeling great. I'm completely awake. Yeah, I thought so. You might not have read back that far, but you sent me some messages last night when you were out. You must have already been pretty drunk when you send them if you don't remember. I don't remember sending anything at all. Yeah, and they didn't make much sense anyway. So I thought you might be drunk. But I wanted to believe that you wouldn't do that and that you were just in a rush. Or that there was a reason why your messages were all over the place. I never thought you would actually go out drinking the night before we were supposed to meet my parents. I don't understand how you could be so selfish. I said I'm sorry, you don't have to rub it in. I told you I didn't mean to drink that much. I was only going to stick around for one drink. I was aware of our plans last night, and I didn't forget about them. It just slipped my mind after a few drinks. I even told my friends that I wouldn't stay for long, but it just got out of hand. I promise I would never do something like that on purpose. Yeah, yeah, sure you wouldn't. You weren't yourself, right? Don't be like that. Plus, there was a friend that I hadn't seen in ages. I couldn't say no. I didn't know when I'd next be able to meet them. So I wanted to stick around as long as possible. I told you, forget about it. You don't have to make excuses anymore. I understand why you couldn't wake up this morning and why we couldn't go see my parents. Will you forgive me? I'm really sorry. No, you don't have to make excuses anymore because there's no point. I'm canceling our engagement. What? You're joking, right? Please don't joke about something so serious. Sean, please pick up the phone. I can explain. I'm not answering anything. I called you over and over this morning, but you wouldn't pick up when I needed you to. Why should I? You're the one that shut me out by not answering your door and by turning off your phone. Well, yeah, but there was a reason for all that. I didn't feel well. 
I'm awake now, I can talk, you can't do this to me! Please, answer the phone! I want us to talk about this properly. You can't decide to cancel our engagement without me. I can't accept that, I can't just give up. Why would you even say that? I don't understand what's gotten into you. What's wrong with you? That's what I want to say! Everything you just said, back at you! This morning, you were supposed to be getting ready to meet my parents and tell them that we're getting married, but instead, you prioritized going out to get drinks with your friends last night. So you ended up getting a hangover and canceling our plans. Yeah, if you put it like that, it sounds horrible, but I didn't mean to. I didn't prioritize anything. Exactly! You should have thought about what a big day this was supposed to be for us and avoided having any alcohol. Or you could have even told your friends that you couldn't go. That's what I would have done. I've been doing a lot to prepare for seeing your parents. Practicing what I'll say. Preparing my clothes. Choosing gifts. I've been thinking about nothing but this day for the past week. I had everything ready this morning. And was ready to ask them for their blessings this evening. But what were you doing the night before? You were out getting drunk. I just had a few drinks. What's the big deal? Are you seriously still angry about that? I'm not going to be able to go out to drink when we're married, so why can't I enjoy a few nights out while I'm still a bachelorette? Is this how you're going to be every time I go out with my friends? Hey, I never said that you couldn't go out and have drinks with your friends. You can still do that once you're married too. Don't make it out like I'm the bad guy that's being suffocating. What I'm asking is why he would go out to drink the night before he was supposed to go and meet my parents and tell them about our engagement. There's a limit to how irresponsible you can be. I understand a few drinks with friends, but if you got drunk and had a hangover this morning, that tells me that you had a few more drinks and you're letting on. And let me remind you because you seem to be conveniently forgetting it, but we planned this weeks ago. You don't have to talk to me like that, I'm not a kid. You don't have to lecture me. I just had a bit too much fun, and I ended up drinking more than I meant to. That's all. I don't get what the fuss is about. Yeah, that's all? I can't take your lies anymore. I might have been able to forgive you if it was just getting drunk and hung over. And if you'd been honest about why you couldn't get up this morning. If you're a little more apologetic and guilty about what you had done. But I can't carry a woman that would bring a guy home and sleep with him the night before she was supposed to meet my parents. I can't do it. I can't trust you anymore. What? What are you talking about? What guy? That's what I want to ask. Who is he? Why are you still trying to hide it from me? You went out to drink last night and got drunk with your friends and went home. But you obviously weren't alone. That's why you reacted so badly when I was messaging you this morning. And why you asked me to leave you alone. What? How did you know? I thought you might wake up and come out if I waited a little longer. I was outside your apartment for about an hour, in my car. I thought that we might be able to make it in time for lunch at my parents if I waited. And it would be quicker than going home and having to pick you up if you did wake up. My parents wouldn't have minded if we were an hour late. If we explained and apologized properly. But you didn't come out. Instead, I saw a guy come out of your apartment. Why would you do that? You were still outside? You were watching us? Yeah, I saw you both. You didn't even bother to check if I was still around. You weren't thinking about me at all. But I saw you kiss him when he left. I couldn't believe it. I thought I was seeing things. I thought I must have been looking at the wrong door, but it was you. I haven't done anything like that. You were seeing things. I would never do anything like that. Please, Sean, just answer the phone. No, I'm not answering your phone calls anymore. I don't have anything else to say to you. I'm done with you. And nothing you can say can change my mind. I'm canceling our engagement. And of course, I'm breaking up with you. I don't want you contacting me ever again. What are you talking about? You can't be serious. We were going to start planning the wedding as soon as we let our parents know. I've already began looking at dresses. You tricked me. I thought you loved me. You're betraying me. Are you an idiot? You're the one that betrayed me. I thought that you loved me, but you slept with another guy. I'm sorry. 
I heard from a friend that my ex-boyfriend was in the area for the first time in a while, and we all decided to go out to have drinks. We all got really excited talking about stuff that happened in the past, and I ended up having too many drinks. To be honest, I don't remember what happened after all the talking. So, I guess one thing just led to another and I ended up going home with my ex. So, it's not cheating. I'm not having an affair. You have to believe me. No matter what you say, I can't trust you. All you've done is lie to me today. And if you're telling me that you can't stop yourself from having drinks when you really have to be somewhere the next day, and that you can't admit to what you've done while drunk, then I can't marry you. I don't want to marry someone I can't trust. Please don't say that. It's just a one-time thing. It doesn't mean anything. It's ironic. Maybe I should say that it's perfect timing. On the day that we were supposed to announce our engagement, I had to announce that we were splitting up instead. I never imagined that today would turn out like this, but I guess it's better that I found out about everything now rather than once we're married. That's the only way I can look at this positively. No, Sean, don't do this to me. I already turned 31 this year. I thought I would already be married and have kids by now. I want to marry you. I don't love my ex. It was just a mistake. I've already told my boss that I'm resigning because I'm getting married. What am I supposed to do for work? Then you'll have to tell them that you're not resigning and ask for your old job back. Or you have to find another job. But that has nothing to do with me anymore. I don't want to marry you. I don't want to have anything to do with you. Sean, listen to me. I only kissed him at the door because I was saying goodbye to him. Because I knew that I was going to marry you. It meant nothing. I only love you. It was just for one night. We're not in love, but I love you, and I want to marry you. I don't want anyone else. I don't care. I've already told my parents and contacted yours to tell them that we're going to tell them that we got engaged, but that we've broken up. I've made it clear that we're not getting back together. What? You called my parents? What did you tell them? Did you tell them about what happened last night? Of course I did. I told them we wouldn't be able to make it for tonight's dinner, and naturally they asked why. They wondered why they couldn't get through to you, and wanted an explanation, so I told them everything. They were bound to find out about the engagement sooner or later. Why would you do that? We haven't decided anything yet. I haven't given up, and I told you it was just a fling. Call them right now and tell them that it was all a misunderstanding. They're your parents. You explain everything to them yourself. And it's not a misunderstanding. I saw you. You can't deny it. You were cheating on me. And after everything that's happened today, I'm not interested in getting back together with you. I've already met your parents before, so I wanted to tell them that we had broken up properly and thank them for how well they had treated me up until now, instead of just disappearing on them. It was just a phone call, but I'm glad I had the chance to speak to them one last time. They really are good people. It's a shame you've disappointed them this much. But we haven't broken up. I haven't accepted any of that yet. I want to get married, and I want to marry you. If you really wanted to get married that much, then maybe you should have acted more like it. Maybe you should have taken today a little more seriously and been more responsible when you went out last night. Maybe if you hadn't lied to me over and over. And maybe you should have thought about me before you slept with your ex-boyfriend. I'm sorry. I'll never do anything like this ever again. If you can just forgive me this one time, please? It's too late. I already saw you cheating on me. I can't live with that. I can't stop thinking about it. The only thing I can do is try and forget about you. My parents are really disappointed that they never even got the chance to meet you. But that might have been for the best. I don't want to have anything to do with you. I just had too much to drink last night. There were no feelings involved. I won't ever drink ever again, and this won't happen ever again, I swear. Enough, forget it. Forget about me and I'll forget about you. Drink however much you want, and go out with any guy you like. Good for you. You can enjoy your nights out as a single woman. What do you do has nothing to do with me anymore. But if you really do want to get married in the future, I suggest you don't make the same mistakes. 
make an effort to prioritize important dates with a guy that is crazy enough to marry a self-centered woman like you. Maybe he'll stick around. Don't call me ever again. Goodbye. After having their engagement canceled on her, Millie tried to contact Sean several times by messaging him and calling him, but nothing got through. It looked like he had already blocked her on all social media they were connected on, and there was no response to anything she sent him. Once she finally realized how serious he was about not wanting to talk to her ever again, she checked the notifications she had from her parents. She read all their messages and knew they weren't happy, but she worked up the courage to call them back. Her father answered the phone, and he was furious that she had done something so hurtful. She ended up being shouted at by her parents for her childish behavior, and in the end, was told that she was disowned. Because of her thoughtless actions, a day that was supposed to be the first of many happy ones became a reminder of her engagement being cancelled instead. As for her job, Millie contacted the company she used to work at to ask for her job back, but they had already found a replacement for her and didn't have any space to hire her. She had to accept that she had lost her job, her family, and her fiancé, and had to go looking for a new start at a new job. But she didn't have much experience, or a degree, so she was finding it tough to pass the job interview stage. She had lost a lot of things in one go, and only started regretting her actions after it was too late. But apparently, that's what helped her to stop drinking, and she swore that she would never drink ever again.